In recent developments, New York Attorney General Letitia James has accused former President Donald Trump of attempting to sow chaos by seeking to delay his business fraud trial, further intensifying the legal battle. The lawsuit, with James suing Trump for $250 million, centers on allegations of inflating his net worth to gain financial benefits, including favorable bank loans and reduced tax bills from 2011 to 2021. Trump vehemently denies these claims and maintains his innocence. The legal proceedings have escalated with Trump facing not only this civil case but also three other indictments. Last month, Judge Arthur Engeron ruled that Trump, along with his adult children, their businesses, and executives, had committed fraud, leading to a subsequent examination of six additional charges, including falsifying business records, insurance fraud, and conspiracy claims during the trial. In response to Trump's ongoing efforts to delay the trial, James stated in a court filing on Monday night that her office is open to supporting a court-ordered pause on Trump's business certifications. However, she strongly opposes the former president's broader attempts to postpone the trial. James emphasized that halting the trial abruptly would sow chaos and result in significant waste of public resources, witnesses' time, and other resources. While urging the court to reject Trump's motion for a stay, James pointed out that the trial had already been ongoing for nearly six weeks by the time of the return date for Trump's motion, set for November 13. She further warned that disrupting the trial could lead to a cascade of delays in Trump's other ongoing legal matters. Trump faces not only the civil business fraud trial but also four criminal cases. The first criminal trial, with a set start date of January 29, 2024, revolves around an alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels during Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. Trump continues to deny any wrongdoing and has pleaded not guilty. James expressed concern that if Trump's trial were interrupted, there would be a substantial risk of further delays based on the deadlines in his other cases. She revealed that Trump's legal team had been trying to delay the trial in a manner that could conflict with the trial schedule in a separate action against Trump that was pending in federal court. The business fraud trial continued with testimony from Morgan Stanley executive K. Don Cornwell. The proceedings are set to involve testimonies from Trump and his adult children in the upcoming days. Donald Trump Jr. is expected to be the first to take the stand on Wednesday. The legal battle remains a focal point, attracting significant attention as it unfolds.